Hey everyone, this is Chase of Rocky Mountain HVMC. Today we're giving you a closer look at the scissor lift stand from Tusk. All right, everyone, thanks for checking in. Today we're giving you a closer look at what I think is a must-have tool for the shop or garage if you're a rider that likes to wrench on your own bike. And that is the scissor lift stand from Tusk. What's amazing about this, you could use it as just a regular stand if you do want to, but if you're like me, you hate bending over every time that you're working on your bike, you gotta have one of these because it's a hydraulic lift stand. So you can see, you've got a pedal over here on the side, you put your bike on here. You'll notice here on the table that you have these hooks. So these are actually going to go on the foot peg to secure it in place just to add some more stability and security to the bike when it's on the stand. These are really simple. You undo the knob, you're going to slide it right through this hook on the side of the stand, put it through the foot peg, and then secure the fastening knob and the washer back down on top of the foot peg. That's going to help keep it secure, hold it in place. Once you've done that, all you're going to do is just step on the side here, and you see the stand start to go up. So it's very easy to do. Now keep in mind, this does have a weight limit of 300 pounds. So if you're not sure of your bike's weight, you'd wanna know that before you use the stand. But once you have it on there, you can actually raise this thing up pretty dang high to a point where for me, at five foot seven, I can do everything on a bike without having really to bend over. So it just saves your back, it saves you all that hassle. So if you like to wrench on your own bike, definitely one route to take is the scissor lift stand. Now on top of that, a couple other things I do want to point out. As far as the construction goes, it's Q235 steel, so super heavy duty. Now you also notice on the table, you have the safety rod, so this is just a security measure. You'll notice on the side of the stand, you've got three holes. Once you get the bike up to a certain height, you can actually slide this right through both sides. You have this cotter pin here, you're gonna put that on. Again, it's just a security measure. Once you have everything installed and ready to go, you'll notice the wheels too, they do lock. And lastly, to lower this, once you're all done, you want to bring it closer to the ground. You got this extra pedal down here on the bottom. You literally just step on it and it drops right down. So very easy to operate. And as far as assembly goes, this thing pretty much comes almost fully assembled. It's very easy to get this thing set up. It just takes a few minutes. It's, come, it's going to come out of the box literally with the wheels, everything installed. So all you got to do is just do a few extra things, comes with instructions, and you're ready to rock and roll. So again, if you like to wrench on your own bike in your own garage, this, I would say, is a must-have tool. It's going to save your back, save you some grief, so make sure to pick one up. If you have questions or comments, leave those below. We'll get those answered. And to get yours, click on the link or head over to RockyMountainATVMC.com. Remember, orders over 75 bucks ship free. If you guys like the spotlight, you want to see more just like it, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and that will keep you up to date on the latest product spotlights, how-to videos, and buyer's guides that we're constantly filming. I am Chase. We'll see you on the trails.